name is Mr. Conway. I will be your instructor today. My signal for attention will be my voice, so whenever you hear my voice, please stop, look, and listen to what I have to say. I expect you to follow all directions at all times, and if you have any questions at any time, please feel free to ask. So today we're going to be working on ping pong, um, also known as table tennis. But more specifically, we're going to be working on the forehand and backhand swing in ping pong. The beautiful thing about ping pong is it's a great activity to play with your friends, um, to stay active, it's fun, and it's competitive. So by the end of class, I expect you to hit the ball over five times in a row on both your forehand side and your backhand side. We're going to be working on control and consistency when it comes to those two skills. So quick safety um, tips. Uh, if you're wearing sneakers, I just ask that you make sure they're tied. Perfect. Um, and I just want you to make sure at all times, you make sure your partner is watching you when hitting to them, because we don't want to cause any accidents. You, want, you don't want to hit them in the face or hit them in the body by accident, because trust me, it does hurt. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So go ahead and grab, everyone grab a paddle. And um, I'm gonna go over in slow motion and in full speed, uh, the breakdown of the forehand and backhand swing in ping pong. But the first, first and foremost, before we get started with that, um, I wanna talk about the grip. There's different ways you can grip the paddle, but this is the most basic way. And um, it allows for the most control over the ping pong paddle. So I say my three fingers, my middle finger, index finger, and pinky finger, and I wrap it around the handle of the paddle. Then I take my thumb and I place it in between my middle finger and my ring finger. And my index finger is placed on the back um, for support. Some people, um, just grip it like this with all five fingers, but I don't think there's as much control with that. And you can see it's, it's, it's tougher that way. So I like to put my index finger on the back for support. So going over the forehand stroke, um, there's three different cues that I wanna go over today. And I have three visual aids here uh, to help illustrate that. First and foremost, um, when we're getting ready um, to have our opponent hit to us, we want to make sure when a ready stance in our eyes, our eyes, as you can see right here, our eyes are on the ball at all times. So we're in our ready stance and the ball's coming. We want to track it in and watch it the whole way in as we're, as we're performing the, either the forehand or the backhand. Um, next, we have this impact. Impact is important because we want to make sure when impacting the ball, obviously we have our eyes on watching the ball as it comes in, we want to impact the ball in the center of our paddle. If we impact it anywhere else, like say the top, bottom, out to the side, or in on the handle, we're not going to have as much control, it's not going to be accurate, it's not going to be as powerful. So we want, what we want is consistency, so we want to make sure we're squaring it up in the middle of our paddle, we're impacting the middle of our paddle. And then last but not least, the follow through. We wanna follow through across our body. Because the follow through indicates essentially where the ball is gonna go. If we impact the ball and don't follow through, we have no direction, we're not guiding the ball anywhere. So we wanna make sure as soon as we hit the ball, we're following through. Um, and it's, it's not like basketball or tennis. In ping pong, you wanna follow through quick and then immediately get ready for your next shot. In basketball, you're able to shoot, watch your shot, see where the ball goes and stuff like that. In tennis, it's a longer court, so you have more time um, to wait for that next shot. Ping pong, it's all right here, it's all compact, so you have to be ready and on your toes. So again, eyes, we wanna turn that shoulder. If, if we're doing a forehand hit, we wanna turn this this back shoulder towards our target, impact the ball, follow through. So real quickly, it'll look like this in full speed. So I'll let you try that five, five times real quick. 
And go ahead and name the cues as you're doing it too. Eyes, impact, and follow through. Eyes, impact, and follow through. Eyes. Go ahead and do it five times. Eyes, impact, follow through. Good job, Maria. And so the back end is virtually the same thing, um, only you're taking the shoulder that's holding the paddle this side of your body, and that's facing your target this time. So with the forehand, it's your opposite shoulder facing the partner. Now this time, you're only, you're closing that shoulder and you're hitting it to your partner. So it's gonna look like this real quick. Eyes, impact, follow through. Eyes, impact, follow through. Make sure you're watching it in on the impact. So go ahead and try it five more times. Can we use the opposite side? Can we use the same side? No, good question. Um, you're gonna, you can use the back side of the pad on this side. So on the forehand, you're using this front side to hit the ball. On the, on the back end, um, you're, used, you're flipping your paddle over and you're hitting it on the back side. Good question. So I'm gonna lay out the cues over here in order. Um, so anytime throughout the lesson, if, if you forget, um, what the order of the cues are, they'll be right there for you. So now, I please ask that uh, you go in a single file line right here, and we're going to work on the four-handed hit. So this time, uh, you're each going to be getting approximately like five, five reps, five good reps. I'm going to be hitting to your forehand side, and you're just going to try and return it back to me. Okay? Mm -hmm. So remember the, remember the three cues. Can you, can you name one cue? Eyes. Eyes, exactly. Ready? Make sure you're centering in the middle of your paddle. Get that one a little low. Perfect. Good job. Consistency and accuracy to that. There you go. Just sign up. Good follow through. All right. Good job. You're good. Are you, Stacy? Yeah. There you go. Make sure we're following through. So. Nice. <laughs> that was good. That was good. It's like a, a nice. follow through is slow motion. Huh? Try to end on me. Yep. Try to angle your racket down too. Okay. Because you're hitting a little, you're coming up a little, a little too hot. Okay. Perfect. Excellent. Again? No, okay. that's perfect. Mm -hmm. And on me. So now this time, again, like before, um, it's the same thing as the forehand, as forehand, only this shoulder is coming across this way, and we want to hit it with the back side of our paddle. Okay? Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Nope. Can you name one more cue? Impact. Impact. Ready? Mm -hmm. Going back in this time. 
Make sure you're setting it in the middle of that paddle. There you go. That's perfect. Perfect. Ready? Ready. Nice. Oh, you make the table. It counts. That one you caught a little. On the handle. On the, hand, on the handle, yeah. yeah. There you go. That was better. Last one. We're gonna go three more, ready? Yep. It's gonna be quicker because you're pretty good. gather around on each side or wherever you can see me. So um, we're going to be working on, again, forehand and backhand. We're just going to be working on consistency. So I'm going to try and go five forehand, five backhand, and then I'm going to mix in a few. So it should look something like this. Try to give, try to give each other positive feedback if you can. If you that see, was fast. <laughs> <laughs> so if you see something good, let each other know. All right, Maria, you want to start us off? Sure. Start <laughs> <laughs> so tough. So we just want to work like with this. We're mainly focusing on control. So you don't have to hit it uh, as fast as you can or as hard as you can. We just want to hit it. You just want to be consistent with it, okay? All with your eyes. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs>
and your goal is to hit these cups. And once you hit a cup, it'll be out of play. So you're gonna get, I say, I'll give you each about seven swings. And, and you wanna to try together as a team, get out as many cups as you can. Oh, yeah. right. There's gonna be two rounds of this, so you wanna try and beat the last time, uh, your last score that you had. Okay? Yes. So I'm gonna mix up forehand and backhand. And again, your goal is just to try and hit as many cups as possible. Yes? Are you gonna be hitting a test or are we hitting a I'm just gonna be throwing it over to your side and you're just gonna be hitting it back and trying to nail the cup. So you're gonna be working together as a team. So okay. you're gonna hit it, you're gonna you're gonna hit it three times and you're gonna go to the other line, the next person's gonna go. Ready? No, I'm gonna, you're gonna oh. get it right. Two more times, two more oh. times. Now we're gonna go backhand. Oh, my backhand. <laughs> and now, forehand. Alright. Alright, we're gonna do backhand. Alright. Ready? Yeah. Forehand. Oh. Backhand. That's tricky. Forehand. So we got. How many do you get? One, two, three, four, five, six, six up. So we're gonna run through it really quick this time. We're gonna try it one more time. Let's get two, three, four hands over here. Got it. Just gonna be a rapid round. Ready? Mm -hmm. Four hands. Yeah, 
That's six. Come on, Come on. Mom, it's up to you. One, just yeah. one. Four. Oh, she got it. Yeah. Yeah. Two more for fun. Four. Oh, and back hand. Oh, All right. so Excellent good. job. So that everyone, everyone put your paddles back on the back on the ping pong table. Yes, buddy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so again, what are the three cues that we learned to that? Highs, impact, impact, follow through, follow through, perfect. And what are like what are the two C's that we work on to that uh, when hitting? Control and consistency. Consistency. Excellent job. So thank you for coming today. Um, next lesson we will focus on the serve. So we're focus on like slice serves, the different kinds of serves. But I hope you got something out of today, working on our forehand and backhand, and uh, have a great day. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. That was fun.